Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to make some simple, beautiful floral cards. Um, one's for like Mother's Day, one's just for a thank you or whatever you want. You can make it birthday, thank you, sympathy, but it's, I just put thank you here. You can just take that out and have it for anything you want. And they're very simple. It's just teaching about composition and some simple thing to do for a Saturday. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over some supplies. I have a piece of B paper. Um, it's a seven by 10 inch paper. It's hundred percent cotton. Um, I found this at Michael's. Actually, I got my paper on clearance, which is amazing. It was $7 a pack, which is so super cheap. And I just fold it in half. Um, if you are very limited on funds for this kind of paper or the watercolor paper that I use arches, I would just take the, just the one piece of it and then put it on top of a um, cheaper piece of paper. So you're not wasting expensive paper. Uh, I have my paints here my paper towel over here, um, my water jars up here, and my paintbrushes. I'll go over as I use them. I've mixed up some rose with some medium red in here. I've already activated some of my paints. I've got this like brownish yellow because I have medium and light yellow mixed with a little burnt umber and I have some uh, medium and hooker screen mixed with some burnt umber. And so for this composition, we want to kind of keep the flowers all to the left. And maybe if you want to have a spray a flower to the right, but you want to keep it all to the left. And when you're making and thinking of um, paintings for cards or just paintings in your home or gifts, whatever, you might want to think of like different, you know, compositions that you want all to the left. Do you want it all to the right? Do you want it in the middle? Do you want it covering the entire page? These are the things you think about. And when you think about just to the left, um, I did the tutorial for Floral Friday that you saw. It's like this one. So I have this grouping here. So this is so, sort of kind of in the middle. You want to want a grouping that's all to the left. I could draw out the grouping. You know, you'd have the, the big flower here, some spray ones here, and small ones here. And you're just kind of like going like this to the left. It's in the, the flowers would be all in this like curved area, all in here. So let's get started. I've shown you how to, you know, you make this, same, we can make similar flowers than the ones I did here. We can put that five petal flower right here in the middle, which I am painting, just drawing in there. And then I'm just gonna paint, you can paint the same kind of flower if you wanna keep it white, but I think I'm gonna make, make the mine today more colorful. Um, I'm gonna take some rose and make it fairly wet. It's creamy now, but I'm gonna really get it wet so it's even lighter. And I'll dab it on my paper towel like I show everybody. Take some of that excess off. Now it's looking a little dull, so I wanna make it brighter. So I'm going to add in some more of that real rose color. And then I have my brush and just dab this so it's lighter. And I'm gonna go in and wash in the similar flower that I did flower Floral Friday. It's like a five petal flower. It kind of has a heart shape petal, as you can see. And I'm just going to wash that in. I might leave some white areas. I didn't in that particular petal. And I think in the rest of them I will. Gonna wash in this flower real quick. Now you could bleed in some other color if you want. If you take some of the darker crimson, and you want to see, I have this darker crimson here, and I'll just tap it in on the edge of the middle and have it bleed out. It's fairly wet, so it might have that spider veiny, which is doing kind of bleeding scenario. So you want to push it around like so. Again, we're going to be working the flower here, a flower here. Um, I might want to put in, I could put the yellow in. I might want to add in an orange tune. So I've grabbed my medium yellow. Also for this exercise, I've shown you how to do the dry, dry brush um, technique with the poppies. 
in one of my tutorial, go check that out. That would look lovely here. If you don't have expensive paper, a dry brush is a good way to go to create, you know, some pretty flowers without having to worry about spending a lot of money on 100% cotton paper. So we'll put one of those orange poppy type flowers here. Real simple. This is these funky little leaves. Again, we could change this color. I'll show you again like I did yesterday. Put one up here, balance it out. So I'm just making this really simple. And I'm using, sorry, a Princeton number eight long velvet touch brush. The velvet touch series is great. So it's, I think it's barely too much orange, right? Don't you think so? So sometimes as you're painting, you're like, eh, the thought of it sounded good, but I don't like it. You can go in and take your rose paint and you dab it in there and it's going to bleed and it's going to change the color tone of this. Now obviously if you don't have the 100% cotton paper on this particular exercise by dabbing in the color, it's not going to have the same effect. It's just not. It's just a different kind of paper and it won't, it won't create that, that bleed that you're looking for. Sad to say. Sometimes paper means everything. So therefore I would just, like, like I said, stick with the dry brush. So you now I just changed the orange to a more peachy, pinky orange, because I wasn't liking that orange. And uh, the, the picture showed some nice blue flowers. I'm gonna take this cobalt that I have, same consistency of the paint, and I'm gonna paint a cluster of little, just four petal, flowers. Now it's getting fairly wet. Don't like how much water is on these. Just four petal, simple. I'm making a cluster, a bunch of them together. And you can put a few out here. Oh, that one I made a five petal. <laughs> And at the end over here. That one kind of blubbed, whatever. So now I'm gonna grab my greenery. Now, like I told you, I mix some medium green, medium green. I'm gonna get that on my brush, I'm gonna dab it on my paper towel. I'm gonna start making some leaves and stems. So we're gonna, again, we wanna keep it in that swoop kind of scenario, but we wanna put leaves in. So we're just gonna put some leaves in. I'm gonna leave some white in the middle, on the edge a little bit. Put some leaves out here. Some stems. You can put a stem out this way. Now I have the tape holding this down so it doesn't, you know, it's easy to paint. Otherwise it's, how are you gonna control holding that? You can put leaf connecting to the stem. Leaf on here. This card could be great for birthday, anniversary, Mother's Day, thinking of you, sympathy, you name it. Wedding, you can make more whiter flowers. I showed you in that tutorial, like I showed you the white with the gold. That would be beautiful for um, a wedding card. Many people are inside right now, quarantine, so this is a good thing for getting your mind off of stuff and, uh, you know, creating something that's fun and pretty. So I'm just keep adding some leaves. Again, we're doing this swoop. Now I want to change up the leaf color. I'm going to add some yellow because I want to have some variety in my greens. Again, so this is a little limey color. I'm just going to dab out some of this lime green. Put some over here. The 
this is such an easy exercise and wow what a what a beautiful card it would be like I said you could just leave it all like here you can add a floating one up here you could add I'm just gonna curve it up like so You want, make your, you want to make your compositions interesting. So like I said, having it on one side. You could have all the edges painted in the middle empty. Think about it. Like how would you like it to look? If you were in a store, what would you buy? What, what's attracting to you? So now this is fairly dry, this pink. I'm going to grab a darker. It's the Crimson Mix with Rose. I'm going to fairly get this creamy mixture. Not super loose like we did before. And I'm going to dab that my paper towel, take off, uh, take off the excess because I don't want it super watery. And I'm just going to feather in, I call it feathering in, marking in lines from the inside outward. And this is why this long round brush is great. It has this beautiful fine tip and you just go like this. simple swooping arm movement, hand movement. You can add a little rough ones out here. But you see the really pops that flower out. People ask me, would I like to paint more flowers or this thing, bird thing, birds and whatnot? I guess it's flowers. I paint a lot of flowers. <laughs> flowers. I like flowers. Who doesn't like flowers? So now we're going to do the similar thing to the orange poppy type of color of flower. We're adding in some deeper tones. Feathering out, I call it feathering out. And the one up here. I use that same color that I use in here on the one up here. It's a great variety and it keeps the tones similar. Up and uh, out here, we can add in some little buds with that rose. Some little buds over in here. This is how you build out the composition. In the blue center, um, we can keep it blue. We can add in the gold like we did yesterday. In the center of the orange and the pink, we can add in the burnt umber, well, the darker mixed with the yellow. So it's like a golden brown. And I will do that. I'll fill that in here in the center. Same thing with this one. And this one. It's still fairly wet, so I don't want to put them the extra added lines yet. I'll work on my leaves. I'll add in some hookers and some sap green. Creamy, thicker than the loose paint and add in a little burnt umber. I can add in a little alizarin crimson. Make it even darker. I'm just going to darken up my leaves, the shadows, put some stems in there. Give this a variety as well. You're playing with tone and color shape. There you go. So you've added that in. Run off your brush. This is still a little wet. So what I want to do is dry it and come back. Okay, now that it's dry, I'll go in and add the details. I'll take this, you drop the golden yellow brown and I'll add out the lines that go upward. I might add a little more of this burnt umber and medium yellow. I'm just feathering out lines from the center. Still, if it looks a little too light, you can go in and add some more burnt umber. 
I'll show you, get in detail. And if you want, you can add in black, if that helps you see it better. So I've added in black. Because it wasn't dark enough. And now you see it better. Same thing with this orange one. The lines, the dots. And you have that beautiful interior stamen that the poppies and those flowers have. For the blue, you can add um, ultramarine or just a deeper, darker turquoise in the center. Oops, it's a little too wet. That's when we need a really intense, concentrated. Still too wet. Brush has too much water. That's why dabbing on the peep towel is good. Just putting in the center. Oh, we didn't have a blue one down here. If you wanted to add that, you could. Don't have to. I'm stepping back, I'm looking. What does it need? It's gonna be like it's missing something. I'm gonna add a little more greenery coming out here. Just little bits and pieces like that. See the little bits and pieces? You can even take some of the burnt umber and the branch. And down here, I might add in some buds, some blue, some blue buds, just to change it up a little bit. Now you can go in and add some like gold accents, it'd be pretty. I guess cards a lot of have, cards have like gold accents, and I showed you yesterday, or oh well, Florida Friday. I use this Liquitex acrylic ink. I love the consistency of it. It's great. Clean up my brush. And you just add some really pretty gold accents. Throughout yellow design. Oops. If you don't have this ink and you have a gold pen that works. It just adds another element that's really pretty to your card. You could even put a line of gold out in here if you want to do that. Just adding like a nice little shimmering accent. Because this gold is fairly thick, which is great. See, just doing little dashes of color. And you can see that. And up here you could write, you know, thank you, mom, um, whatever you feel like thinking of you. You can do it in gold. Whatever works for you. Um, I don't know if I would do mom or thank you or thinking of you. You could even put a little butterfly or a dragonfly up here too. You know, before you write the words, I would take a pencil and I would pencil it in. So here I might write thank you on this one. And I might do it in gold. This brush is so great. It's such a... So 
It's a great brush to create all this. I'm gonna have to add some more gold. And if you, like I said, if you if you can't paint, write words that you brush, grab one of those gold pens. That will work just as well. So now we'll work on a, another card that's a quick, easy, fun Mother's Day card. Okay, the second card is super fast and super easy. You write the word mom. M, big O, and M here. Right? You can do that. What we're going to do for the O? Well, it's not going to be an O. It's going to be a flower. It's going to be a rose. And I showed you how to do roses so many times, but let's show it again. We will take concentrated Lizarin Crimson. You know, get a creamy texture. And we're gonna just put a line, maybe a dot in the middle, a line here connecting lines. I'll zoom in. Pushing down, I'm using the velvet brush again. Right, so then we've got these lines that are Connected, touching, like so. And I'm going to clean up my brush. And I'm going to take some water and push that. Now this paper is, i got to hold it down because it's moving this way, which means it's going to start flowing that way. So you might want to tape it down. So you're just creating those rose petals. Like so. And that's your O. Your O is the rose for mom. Now, the letters on the other side, I suggest they make them a different color. I wouldn't keep them in the pink tone. And if you want to have greenery for your rose. You can come down here. Oh, it's so wet. The brush is being very difficult today. Here. 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 You might not want to make it green either. So what color would look good with that? Would it be orange? Would it be brown? I'm gonna do like a light turk. You see here, the turk goes well with the pink. Oh, turk goes well with the pink. Zoom back out. You could do gold too, but it's not gonna show up as much. So I've got turk paint. Gonna make that creamy texture. I'm gonna dab my brush and paint towel good this time because <laughs> as you saw before. Or you can make it black if you want to. I don't know, I'm gonna do blue. So you're just doing your M. If you are not good at freehanding the letters, I suggest you trace it from, you know, you can print out, type from your computer, and then trace it with a pencil, and then just paint on top of that. So I got my M. I'm just going to fill in this letter. I'm kind of used to painting this stuff freehand, so for me, it's easy. Everybody else might not be. So you just make the word mom. 
Now you could put a gold border around here. You could put some little ditzy flowers down here and over here. You can add a flower or two over here. I might take my greenery. And I might add a little flower. Ditzy bud over here. And something up over in here. Mm. To balance it out. See, you want to balance it out, this angle kind of going here. And I'll take my pink and I'll make up a little bud. And a little bud here. And that, like, itself is just so simple. Now here, it's dried a lot in the middle. And I want it darker and deeper, so I'll add some of that darker crimson. Just giving it darkness there. And for the word, the letter is M, I'm going to take some deeper turquoise. I'm just going to put a little pattern. On the letter just to give it some more oomph. Just a little stripe. It just changes it ever so much. But look how pretty that is. Mom. <laughs> it's that simple. And again, I might go in and grab that gold paint because I already did it with the first one. And add some gold touch accents. Why not? Mom deserves it. Next to the letter. Just to give it a little oomph. You're just accenting everything. You want to go overboard, but you want to make it look pretty. And there you go. Simple as that. When that dries, then you can erase your pencil marks. So there you go. We have a beautiful mum card and a beautiful thank you card. And I hope you enjoyed this. It's a pretty easy, simple tutorial. And this one's a little longer than this one, but you get the idea. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for um, being my friendly and wonderful YouTube. Um, viewers, I appreciate it so much. And for those who are new, thank you for coming to my channel. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.